Hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple thumbnail using Canva. So I'm going to be showing you on my desktop here. You could do this either on Google Chrome or on Safari. So I have my Canva here. I'm going to open Canva and I'm using the free version. I used to try to use the paid version, but I, I didn't see the um, need for it because you don't really need to I mean I just prefer this the free version so you click on YouTube thumbnail it takes you to a different um, a different pay, uh, page here and if let's say you want to do something relating to cooking for example you have a choice here that shows you food YouTube thumbnails if you have if you're a music producer you want to you know create a thumbnail for your video um, or any beauty, um, be anyone that makes make makeup or whatnot, there are choices here for templates for you. If you want to do a tutorial, for example, this is a tutorial of how to create a sample, simple thumbnail. I would click here and see all, okay? And these are all different choices of how t of tutorial thumbnails. Most of them are free and some of them you have to pay. The next thing is, I want to go on this side just so you can understand how Canva really works. First, I'm going to start here. Right here, you you uh, want to change the, not here, sorry, right here, you could change the title of, of your template before you even start making any changes to whatever you choose. So for me, I'm going to put how to create thumbnail so that it's easy for me to find it when I'm ready to upload it. Here is where the picked photos, different types of photos that these are stock photos. And when I'm when I meant about free version, if something is not free, it'll tell you pro right here. It says get this image for and millions more with Canva Pro and or pay just one dollar. So you can either subscribe or you could pay a one time fee for the specific picture. You could do that. And if it's free, you would see um, the ones that are free. And it'll say free, like on the corner here. Okay, next is elements. There are also free elements and also paid for elements. And there are also different sections of, of uh, elements. There are featured ones, there are grids, shapes, frames, stickers, as you can see here. Uh, you just have to pretty much click on it to see all that's available. And you would see those that are free and those that you have to pay for. Now, the next one is text. There's several texts that you could pick. You can add a heading. You can increase the size over here, use a subheading, and then add a little bit of body text if you want. But for thumbnails, you really just want to keep it at headings, only headings. You do not want to do keep adding so much words to it. I suggest for me, from what I've learned and what I've noticed, is that when you are writing your thumbnail, you always want your thumbnail to have up to maybe four words, no more than four words to kind of give a summary of what your video is about. For example, right here, this says cold, smooth, and tasty. If I were to create a video regarding cold, smooth, and tasty, I would leave it that way. And I may leave my name there or I may not. I could easily just delete this specific element. I'll show you how all that works. Then there are videos that you can add. For thumbnails, you obviously cannot create a thumbnail video but this would be for like, if you want to create an intro or an outro, you can, you know, pick uh, pick one of these and just um, use it. And as you can see, there are different categories for them, fashion, you know, and you could also probably use this as stock photos or stock videos. What I mean by stock photos is, let's say you're talking about, oh, you bought a brown dress and you want to show that brown dress, right? What you're going to do is you're going to click on the brown dress and it's going to show as you're talking about it, you place this in your, um, on top of when you're doing your workflow, your editing, this would be the brown dress that you're showing your audience. So that's kind of an example of a stock photo. Next is backgrounds. Backgrounds consist of pictures, images. You can pick whatever you want to use as a um, background. You know, you could do, you could pick, pick, you could pick solid colors as well. You could pick, you know, images of, mountains and things like that and then the part that i like my favorite you guys are going to see all the stuff that i've been working on here is the uploads so this is my recent um 
uh, images that I uploaded to create um, my thumbnail. And as you can see, I have a lot of images. And just so you know, just because you upload a bunch of these, you could always click on this section here to delete it if you don't want it there anymore. So, you know, you can have stock photos and I will show you how to create pictures like this as well in this video. So let's say I want to create a simple how to thumbnail, which is a tutorial. And I want to do, maybe I want to, I'll pick this one right here. So this is a free one. And right here, I, I picked this one because I like the font of this word. It's easy to see. And I like the image as well. However, if I wanted to replace this image, what I do is I would upload an image that I like. For example, this one. What I do is I'll take this picture and go up here and delete this, the stock photo that came with that template. And I would, imp I would upload this image. What I now do is, let's say I don't want this particular pictures, but the background on this picture, I just want my own self. I would go to a new window and type in remove.bg, which is remove.background.com. I'm going to click here. See, this website is www.remove.bg.com. Once you get there, you want to upload an image in order to get that um, background removal um, removed. So, for example, let's say I want to remove the background of this picture here. I'll choose that image, it'll upload it, and bam, that's my picture. What I do is I'm going to download it and it'll show this is the picture. The reason why you want to always have your picture to the corner, to the right side, which is also my left side, is because when you're viewing someone's thumbnails, either on a mobile phone or even on a desktop, the wordings is going to be blocked by the time stamp on the corner or an ad. So you always want to keep the title of whatever your video is about on the corner on the left side. So I will put my picture here. Let's let me just kind of I'm going to delete this again and then reinstall it. OK, so I want to keep it at the same pixel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it all the way over here. As you can see, it's the, the, the grid lines come pop up whenever I am trying to move things around. And then I want to edit the words. The words, I want to say maybe styling my scarf. Let's just put it that. Styling a funky scarf. I'm just going to change pieces to scarf. S-C-A-R-F. Styling funky scarf. Let me put a uh, funky scarf. There you go. Styling, not that way. That's not English. Styling a funky scarf see so and let's say I wanna I don't want the white background there right and I don't like this particular white background I would go to my backgrounds here and I could pick let's say I want to pick something simple something easy that matches this that's what's gonna come up as okay styling a funky scarf and my picture is right there I want to make my pictures a little bit bigger, just slightly, not too, not too much, you know, so you can still see my image. You want your image to be visible, as visible as possible, and also out, you know, in, in, in focus as well as out there. So for me, this looks okay. I mean, obviously I haven't put a lot of work into this, but um, I want to just show you, this is a simple thumbnail that you could use because it's viewable, viewable. You see this zoom button here? For you to know if the font that you picked is correct or is good enough for others to see, you wanna always put it at 20%. If you can still see it at 25%, that's a good font. If you cannot see it at 25%, for example, let me change the font to maybe something like, um, like this. See that? Okay, let me now move it down to like 25%. It looks a bit uh, like off. It, you can't really see it. It's thin. For those that may have um, vision problems, you don't really want to use this. So I try my best to always keep it as something, a, block, a blocked type of and bold type of font. 
easy to read font is good. You don't want it to be um, cursive, too much cursive on your thumbnails so that other people can read it. All right, so that's it for this part. If you, once you're done creating this, you now click download here and you always want to go with the suggested one because if you pick anything else, you're going to have to pay for it. But it, PNG is a high quality image and you it's pretty much the best. And you just click download. So you just click download and that's your big, that, that this is what you get and you, you can save it wherever you want. If you use an, a MacBook or even any computer, if you know how to use a computer, you can always add this to your phone. I mean, your photos on your phone. You can email it, message it, whatever, airdrop it. That way you can, when you're ready to promote your video, you can easily just do it on your phone. So this is automatically saved to either my desktop or wherever I've already set my computer to save all my files, my pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, not really enjoy it, but I hope you guys learned a thing or two on this video. And um, I hope it's helpful. If it is, please leave, give it a thumbs up and like it. And um, also um, do subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.